So this is a quick demo of boards. B O O R D S. So it's a storyboard creator. I've already created a username and login, so I'm going to log in. And again, for this piece that I'm working on today, we're focusing on fitness video, so I'll be focused on the chair test. And I open up my project and have different boards or different here. I have a total, a total of eight frames outlining my project from the introduction to a core activity to a closure of this particular story. The first slide, I introduced the chair test, which is similar to a squat test to measure leg strength in which participants stand up repeatedly from a chair for 30 seconds. And I have a picture I'll use. The second board is a, a chair. I have an image of a chair that I've embedded. Directions, scoring of the chair test. And I have to upload a GIF here. I put a note here to model the specific behavior. So I need to record myself conducting the chair test. And for, for frame six, I'll embed a QR code for an Excel spreadsheet. And this is the link for that QR code. I'm gonna develop three rounds of the chair test and I'm gonna embed a timer so students can participate in the chair test. And then I'll give the students or anyone who's conducting the chair test time to import their data. So this is an overview utilizing boards. It's a storyboard that's available to use. To screen record, and if we want to embed a new movie recording or video recording for step two, which is to film or develop. And what I've done now is imported the entire storyboard into Keynote. I had to develop it in Keynote by typing in the text. And creating little snippet videos. The chair test is similar to a squat test to measure leg strength. And also embedding pictures into the presentation. I've also embedded a GIF. pictures, and there's a video primarily on every slide providing an overview of the slide. And we focused on scoring. We provided a specific model for the chair test. And we've provided the QR code where students can generate the spreadsheet and import their scores. and generate an average. Moreover, there are three rounds and they're all timed rounds. So now within Keynote, we can export this particular file to a movie when we have it exactly the way we like. a self-playing movie, all of the slides, and 720. I'm going to click on next. So let's export it.
the video file has been generated. is designed to test the functional prevent it from moving. You will also need a stopwatch. And the video is playing. So it's saved in an M4V format and we're still filming and developing. Now we move into step three, and in step three, we utilize the video we created. To a squat test to measure. And we're going to need to import it. Into iMovie. We'll be working with iMovie for this particular project. We click on create new and we're going to be developing a movie where we combine video, photos, and music to make our own movie. Within iMovie there's a timeline on the bottom. It's a video playback screen where you can play your video and analyze it to ensure that it has the correct edits and there's a video library. First thing we want to do is ensure the file that we're going to be working with, which is tear, chair test video step two, is imported into the video library. And it is. It is right here. Now what we'd like to do is drag it down to the timeline and begin our edits. So there's a slight delay here in the video where there's audio. So I want to condense that. You see there's about the chair a, test is similar to a squat test. A four second delay. So I'm going to modify that. I'm going to split the clip and I'm going to delete that particular point. So it can the chair test is similar to a quickly get into the overview of the chair test. Moreover, there's another large delay right here before there's audio. So I'm going to modify, split the clip, and modify, split the clip and delete this area, this part of the video where there is no audio. And we'll have a smooth transition. And endurance. The materials you will need are a chair with a straight back without armrest. To the next slide. You can see that right in this area, part of the video there's no audio as well so we'll need to split that as well so I click on modify split the clip 
modify, split the clip, and ensure there's a smooth transition from one slide to the next. So within iMovie, you can mute the volume, you can stabilize the video if you're utilizing a camera. There's a noise reduction and equalizer. You can speed up a part of the video. You can add audio effects, alter the colors, and automatically improve the video quality. So here I'm going to modify, I'm going to split it. Once I've trimmed the video down, I can embed pictures by dragging them from the library into the presentation if needed. I can also embed a title. I could preview the uh, the chair test is similar the text the chair test is chair test is similar to a squat test. Once I've reviewed the entire video and I like the titles that I've embedded or any new pictures or transitions that I've embedded, I can export the edited version of the video directly to YouTube, Vimeo, I like to do a file and then upload it to YouTube. It's completed export and you will clearly see that this circle has been fully developed. So in step three, we edited the file within my iMovie and the export was successful. So this is the file. Step 3 video development chair test dot MOV. We have completed step 3. The chair test is similar to a squat test to measure leg, specifically to assess leg strength and endurance. The materials you will need are a chair with a straight back without armrests placed against the wall to prevent it from moving. 
So hopefully the transitions are much nicer, which they are. So I like the video, and as noted, we have completed step three. Edit your video in iMovie for Mac users. Teaching purposes and for efficiency, in step four, when we share the file, I want to convert the file format from an MOV file to an MP4 file. So currently, our video for the chair test is in a .mov file. I've downloaded Handbrake. import the MOV file into Handbrake and convert it to an MP4 file. This will save storage space on my laptop and it'll, it will allow me to upload the video much quicker to stream or even to um, YouTube. So the output, I want it to be an MP4 file, web optimized. and I'm going to save it in my downloads. So I'm going to start the queue in Handbrake and it's going through the encoding process to convert it from an MOV file to an MP4 file. Once it's in an MP4 file, I can review it, ensure it is okay, then upload it to social media sites. It's about 25% right now. Once your conversion is complete from MOV to MP4, open the file and ensure it's to the quality that you desire. The chair test is similar to a squat test to measure leg strength, in which participants... Once it's to the quality that you desire, you can upload the video to a social media site or in this particular example to Microsoft Stream. So I'm just going to drag this file So I provide permissions. Once it's uploaded, I can publish this particular file.
Now I can click on the file and view the file within Microsoft Stream. I can also upload this file to YouTube and share it on a social media site by uploading the video. Studio. This has been an overview for step four, which is to share the file.